Welcome to Excavator Mission. I am Rachel Presage and I teach missions at First Baptist of Polk City. And I'm excited to share with you about um, this year's BBS theme um, for missions and some of the activities that we will be doing. And so the first thing I want to do is focus on building that foundation for mission. And so um, you're going to need the leader's guide. And in the leader's guide, it has um, in the first on page three, um, I love how it has about our building the love of Jesus. And so it gives us a little snapshot of what the Bible story is for each day. Because even though we're not doing the Bible study, we still want to be familiar with the stories because our kids may ask questions. And so we need to be prepared to um, share with them. And so also we need to be familiar with our VBS scripture. And our VBS scripture is, I'm sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians 1, 6. And then also we need to be familiar with our VBS motto which we can use motions with it, where it says, Jesus, our strong foundation. Because in missions, we are really wanting to build that strong foundation for kids to understand how they can get involved, involved in missions. And so then also, we want to focus on the tools that are needed for missions. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you have the leader's guide. In the leader's guide, there's also the DVD in the front pocket. And then in the middle of the book is the posters. So you want to take these out and post them on the wall because you'll be referring to them throughout the whole week. And so they have both of the missionary families. Um, then some other supplies that you will need is one, for excavate activity, you're going to need a set of tongs. I just bought this at the Dollar Tree. And then you're going to need the rocks, and I'll explain more of how I created mine uh, when I talk about the excavate activity. And then um, another thing is um, hands, or you could buy some already done hands, or you could your own and I'll explain what that activity is for in a little bit and then you could always do um, safety cones to put around um, and um, construction hats and also for the excavating activity they have where um, you can use a like a kiddie pool and um, that's where the rocks will go for each day. And so that's just a, some brief supplies of some tools that you're going to need for missions. So then I want to go to our hands-on missions. And this is our hands-on mission project. On the DVD, there's also documents that you can print out. And that's where you'll find this one that's called Get Involved in Missions. And this is a parent letter to go home um, on the first day that explains what missions is and explains the project. And so um, one thing that we're going to teach our kids this year is how we want to make sure that they understand what missions is and how they can get involved in it. And one way that we can um, help them to visually see that is through hand signals. Because just like when we're in a construction site and how we um, can't always communicate with each other because it's so loud and noisy with all those machines. We can use hand signals to communicate with each other. And so let me explain to you those. So the first one is learn. So you put like you're um, touching your mind. And so because each day we're going to learn about the worthy family this year and we're going to learn, continue learning about Jorge Santiago. And so we're going to discuss missions each day. The next one is you put your hands to pray. 
because every single day we are going to pray for our missionaries that we are studying um, with this this CBS. The next one is do because it's like I'm raising my hand that I'm volunteering because we're going to get involved in missions. And how we can get involved in missions is through our mission project, which I'll explain in just a moment of what the LifeWays mission project is. And then we have the next one is give. So it's like I'm having a coin in my hand. I'm going to give to missions through offering. And then the last one is encourage. We want to encourage missionaries and provide kids opportunities to maybe write encouraging notes um, or um, post a video or anything just to, to help them encourage missionaries. And so um, this year, um, the actual hands-on project is about collecting items to donate to a disaster relief organization. And so it could be objects like hand sanitizer, um, work gloves, um, food service gloves, any of those. Or you could talk to your local um, disaster relief organization and ask what materials that they need. Um, or you could um, do any other project that you feel like you want to do for for your VBS, I know my church has usually we support the Florida Baptist Children's Home. Um, usually we do a competition between the boys and the girls about who could raise the most money throughout the week. Um, so whatever works for you, but we want to make sure we do have a mission project for that week so that they can get involved. So the next thing I want to focus on is some activities that uh, we will be doing during missions and, and then understand the blueprint for our um, mission schedule. And so one activity is called job order, is where uh, this is a activity for day four. And so on the DVD, there is this document that you can print out, where it's called mission actions. And so this is where kids can write down of what can they do in their church, community, faith, and world. So I really like this activity because it really goes with our mission. Like when we read in Matthew 28, 19, and 20, you know, Jesus gives us the mission to go and make disciples. And children need to understand that they can do that in their own community in their own neighborhood, in their own school. And so that is our job as our mission leaders is to help those kids understand how they can get involved, that they don't have to go all the way around the world, but they can just go and um, help get, meet the needs of the people in and around them. And so now I want to uh, move to our blueprint of what is it that we follow for each lesson. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we are welcoming our kids. You know, either reviewing the Bible story or uh, we are asking questions about the mission story before or, you know, any way just to get them excited about mission. And then from there, we want to excavate. And that's where I'm going to explain to you of how I created my rocks. So on the DVD, they have um, words that look like rocks for each day. And so you want to print that out. You could lam laminate them. I did it, and they are still okay how I use them. So whatever works for you. So I have a bag for each day that's labeled. So this one's labeled day one. Um, so you want to make sure you have a bag for each day because then you will just kind of just toss them in the kiddie pool and so then give the kids the tongs so that they can um, excavate. Um, so let me explain my rocks. So what I did is I took the one I have, the, um, the paper that they gave us, then I took a plastic bag 
and I kind of crumbled up in like a ball form and then I just taped around it uh, multiple times until it was kind of solid here. Um, so that should say quick and easy way of some supplies that you already have in your home. Um, so on the word, there will also be where it has a code where it will say um, a number and then a letter. So the number represents what day um, it goes with, and um, then you will see the letters A and B. A stands for the Worthy Family video. B stands for the Santiago video. Um, so what you would do is each day, when they will come in, you will choose some students that they will excavate the words, and they will say what the word is, and then while you're watching the video, you they need to pay attention to those words because afterwards you're going to ask them about you know how was this word used in the video. So it's just a great uh, review to help them dig deeper into what's important in the mission stories. Um, and then from there, you'll play the video for the Worthy fam Family in your leader's guide. There is uh, different activities and questions to help you dig deeper with the Worthy Family. The same thing for the San Diego, um, for Jorge and San Diego. Um, you do that video. And then you will, um, there are some questions and activities for you to do there. So I usually just pick one for each uh, missionary story. It just depends on your time. Pick the ones that um, works best for you. Um, so the last thing I want to leave you with is we want to make sure that we are preparing our hearts and gathering our um, and preparing and planning before we're, we're teaching. And so I want to take this time at the end of the video to really pray for your BBS and pray for you as you are preparing um, for your missions class. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord, uh, thank you for always providing this Vacation Bible School for us. And Lord, I pray um, that you will already put your hands upon each church that's represented here for their VBS. Lord, I pray that you will already be preparing the hearts of the leaders as they are planning of what they're, what tools they're going to use. Lord, I pray that um, you will be with us during this time of uncertainty, that you will use this opportunity to really bring um, kids and youth and adults that wouldn't normally come but because of everything that's been going on, that they're willing to come. Lord, I pray that you will help our VBS be so successful um, that you will just get all the glory. 